The once thriving Euphrates River has become a nightmare, with horrifying occurrences shaking people in fear. Its unexplained changes, mysterious drying up, strange and eerie sounds, and many more of the river's dark secrets coming to light all lead back to biblical prophecies. Join us as we explore the terrifying events in the dried up Euphrates River and discover the unimaginable horrors lurking beneath the surface. The Euphrates River is an ancient waterway that's captured the hearts and minds of people for thousands of years. The Great River has been the lifeblood of human civilization for centuries, bringing together diverse cultures, traditions, and histories in a single powerful current. The river was more than just a source of sustenance, though. It was a place of wonder, mystery, and legend. According to Genesis 2 verse 14, the Euphrates was one of the four rivers that emerged from the Garden of Eden. The first river, called Bishon, flows through Havilah's gold-rich country. Bdellium and onyx are found there, and the gold in that country is pure. Gihon is the name of the second river, which flows through Aunt Kush. The third river, Hidakel, flows along Assyria's eastern border. The Euphrates is the fourth river. When humans first set foot along its banks, they knew the Euphrates was special. It was a place of fertile soil, rich with nutrients and nourishing life in every direction. Mesopotamia, the region between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, is credited with giving rise to human civilization. Here, prosperous agricultural, commercial, and governmental systems paved the path for the future of humanity. The Sumerians, Babylonians, and Assyrians were among the first to call this place home, building vast cities, temples, and palaces that dazzled the ancient world. The Euphrates was more than just a river. It was a lifeline for the people along its banks. It provided water for irrigation and drinking, fish for food, and transport for goods and people. And its importance only grew over time. As the Roman Empire expanded its reach, the Euphrates became a critical transport and communication conduit, connecting the eastern and western regions of the empire. It was a vital link in the chain of trade that fueled the Roman economy, carrying goods like silk, spices, and precious metals across vast distances. And when the Byzantine Empire rose to power, the Euphrates played an equally important role in its expansion and decline. The river served as a border between the Byzantine Empire and the Sasanian Empire, which led to frequent battles and skirmishes along its banks. But according to the Holy Bible, it's also a river that will witness a gloomy prophecy that might unfold right before our eyes. As we delve deeper into the scriptures, we learn that the Euphrates has been mentioned twice as part of a prophecy of the last days. The first one appears in the book of Jeremiah, where God's voice echoes in his words, condemning Babylon's people and predicting a drought on the land. He warns that Babylon's idols, false prophets, warriors, and treasures would all be consumed by terror. It's worth noting that Babylon is situated on the banks of the Euphrates, and many scholars believe that the water referred to in the prophecy is that of the mighty river. The second prophecy appears in Revelation, where John the Apostle vividly depicts the end times. According to his writings, seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls of judgment will befall the earth. During the sixth bowl judgment, the Euphrates River will dry up, paving the way for the armies of the east to march across. This sets the stage for a massive battle at Armageddon, where Jesus will lead the charge against the enemies of God. As we look at the state of the world today, we can't help but wonder if these prophecies are coming to fruition. The Euphrates and Tigris rivers, which flow through the Middle East, have been experiencing significant decreases in their water levels, causing great concern among scientists and environmentalists. The water scarcity issue has become a major regional crisis, with countries like Iraq, Syria, and Turkey fighting over water rights and resources. Once the lifeline of the Middle East's fertile crescent, the Euphrates River is now a mere shadow of its former self. The river is receding at an alarming rate, and its low water levels are causing widespread suffering for millions of people. 
The situation is becoming increasingly dire, with entire villages in northern Syria at risk of being destroyed due to the rising temperatures, less rainfall, and drought plaguing the region. The impact on essential infrastructure like healthcare institutions is devastating, with hospitals struggling to provide even basic medical services due to the lack of water. The drought's severity worsens and climate change exacerbates the problem. The water flows from Turkey to Syrian territory are less than half what the two countries agreed upon in 1987. Iraq, one of the countries where the river flows, also faces the harsh consequences of this phenomenon. As the water level recedes, the marshes and wetlands along the river become arid wastelands. The reed gatherers, who once floated on the river to collect reeds for weaving and other purposes, are now reduced to standing on dry land, their sickles rusted, and their hearts heavy with despair. They call out to passing boats carrying tourists, their voices carrying a sense of desperation as they yell, Makumai, meaning, there is no water. The situation is becoming increasingly dire, with the Euphrates River shrinking to a fraction of its former size. The primary culprits are the water policies of Iraq's neighbors, Turkey and Syria, which have choked the river's flow. In addition, a two-year drought and years of overuse by Iraq and its farmers have only worsened the situation. Many officials fear that the Euphrates River could soon be only half what it used to be. The consequences of this crisis are far-reaching and devastating. The water loss has affected the livelihoods of the reed gatherers and the millions of people who rely on the river for drinking and irrigation water for agriculture. As dams run dry, communities are left without access to clean water. Essential infrastructure like hospitals and healthcare institutions are also impacted, further compounding the problem. With no water to power generators, many hospitals cannot provide critical medical care, leading to increased illness and death. The effects of the drought are being felt throughout the entire region, not just in Iraq. The Middle East's history and culture have been significantly influenced by the Euphrates River, with civilizations like the Sumerians, Babylonians, and Assyrians thriving along its banks. The river has been a critical transport and communication conduit, connecting kingdoms' eastern and western regions. But now, the mighty river is struggling to survive. The situation is becoming increasingly desperate as the Euphrates River continues to recede. But beyond the immediate consequences of water scarcity, there are deeper, more profound implications. The drying up of the Euphrates River could be a sign that the end times are drawing near and that the prophecies of the Bible are coming to pass. The second coming of the Lord Jesus might be more eminent than we know. There have been many predictions and forecasts about when it would be, but even the angels and Jesus do not know the time. It's only known to the Father. However, when he comes, he's coming to receive those who believed in him, whether alive or dead. According to the letter to the Thessalonians, it's believed that Jesus died and rose again, so those who've died in Jesus will also rise. The writer, Paul, wants to ensure that the Thessalonians are not uninformed about those who've died, so that they'll not grieve as those who've no hope. If they believe that Jesus died and rose again, so will those who've died in Jesus rise with him. The letter says, the dead in Christ will rise first when the Lord himself descends from heaven with a resounding command, an archangel's voice, and a divine trumpet summons. When the Lord appears in the skies, those still alive will be carried along with them by the clouds. They'll therefore spend all their time with the Lord. The letter concludes with a consoling instruction for the Thessalonians to cheer one another on with these words. Not everyone will be able to rapture with Christ on the last day. Only those who dedicated their lives to his service and to the obedience of his words. Those who abstained from the sins, corruption, and wickedness of age. Those who've confessed Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, who do not just attend church and participate in various religious activities. 
In the book of Revelation, the author John reported that he saw a great multitude of people standing before the throne of God. They were from all over the human race and wore white robes with palm branches in their hands. They cried loudly, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. Let us talk about the current state of the Euphrates River. As we mentioned, the Euphrates was once the lifeblood of the Middle East Fertile Crescent. However, the Euphrates River is drying up. Yep, you heard that right. The Euphrates River is drying up. This has become a severe concern to the Middle East, causing distress for individuals, ecosystems, and economies that rely on the river. Unfortunately, the situation is becoming increasingly stringent due to climate change, dam construction, and the overuse of water for agriculture and industry. Let's put the severity of this situation into more perspective. Various fields of wheat and barley, which the river once irrigated, have become arid lands. Once listed as a trade route, the river cannot be navigated using a canoe, not using ferries or ships, so it's gotten that serious. However, despite the doomsday view of many about the drying up of the Euphrates River, let's talk about some fantastic secrets this drought's revealed. This extreme drought led to discovering a 3,400-year-old city hidden underwater for over 40 years. The city was uncovered in Iraq, specifically in the Kurdistan region, thanks to the decreased water levels caused by the receding Euphrates River. The discovery was made by German and Kurdish archaeologists who scoured the site of Kemun after it emerged from the waters of the Mosul Reservoir in early 2022. The Bronze Age city could be the ancient city of Zakiku, which existed from 1050 to 1350 BC and served as an extensive urban complex within the Mitanni Empire. Due to the unforeseen event of the receding river, archaeologists had to work quickly to excavate and document the ruins before they were submerged again. The team uncovered major sites during excavations, including a massive fortification with walls and towers, a monumental multi-story storage building, and an industrial complex. These sites were well preserved, some even reaching several meters in height, despite being submerged for over 40 years. In addition to these major sites, archaeologists discovered five ceramic vessels with an archive of over a hundred cuneiform tablets. Some of the clay tablets were still sealed into their clay envelopes. The fact that these tablets made of unfired clay survived so many decades underwater is close to a miracle, according to Dr. Peter Fausner, a professor at the University of Tübingen. Dr. Ivana Pujes, a junior professor at the University of Freiburg, also remarked on the fine significance, particularly the massive magazine building. This building is particularly important because enormous quantities of goods must have been stored in it, probably brought from all over the region. Another impressive find is the city of Taubes, which has been hidden away for generations beneath the waters of the Haditha Dam in Iraq. But with the receding waters of the Euphrates in the city of Anar, the ancient city has emerged, along with at least 80 other historic sites. Can you imagine being one of the first to explore a city that's been hidden for so long? It's like stepping back in time and seeing the past. But that's not all. In Turkey's Arjun region, the receding waters of the Keban Dam Lake have brought to the surface the historical Hastek Castle. This stunning castle has been hidden beneath the waters for decades, but now visitors can explore it in all its glory, marveling at its unique history and incredible architecture. And the best part? The castle can only be reached by boat, adding an extra layer of adventure to this incredible discovery. And let's remember the massive caverns revealed by the drought. These caverns are believed to be the Euphrates Tunnels, and the fact that they've been hidden away for so long is mind-boggling. Who knows these tunnel secrets and mysteries just waiting for us to uncover? But the most thrilling and scary discovery among all might be the cry of chained demons imprisoned under the Euphrates. 
According to the Book of Revelation, four angels are chained beneath the river, waiting to be unleashed upon the world. In chapter 9, John describes a vision where an angel is given a key to the bottomless pit, and upon opening it, locusts emerge to torment those without the seal of the beast on their foreheads. Recently, some eerie sounds have been heard from the Euphrates' dry beds. Groans, moans, growls, and chains rattling have all been reported. While the authenticity of these recordings remains in question, we know that fascinating holes and caves have been discovered in the valleys of the river, with origins that remain a mystery. Some people believe these structures were used as prisons for demons. And with the river now dry, there are theories that these prisoners may have been released. Returning to the revelation of John, the sixth angel with the trumpet is said to free the four demons chained under the great river Euphrates. These creatures are believed to be demonic beings described as being bound. Fallen angels, known as demons, are often restrained by chains of darkness. But here's the thing. These four creatures are invisible to the human eye, even though they're restrained by chains beneath the river. They cannot be seen or detected with sonar equipment. However, just because we cannot see them, it doesn't mean they don't exist. Angels are real. While we may not see them with our physical eyes, they're present in our lives. The world is in chaos, with wars, natural disasters, and pandemics wreaking havoc. It's a time when we must turn to faith and seek comfort in knowing God is in control. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it with friends, and subscribe for more.